Are you willing to be open? Because that's a th theme that we talk a, a lot about is is the turning over of specialness and and allowing it to be given over and transformed into holiness. And uh, the specialness is is this filter in the mind. You know, it just it it's des it is the desire to get. It is the desire to get something. It's not. It's completely the opposite of the desire to give and and extend. And when this desire to get is given faith, then of course it 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 looks for things in the world to get that will seem to improve the self concept. And it's kind of like I sometimes use the thing like if you. If you went into a car dealership and you were going to trade in your used car for a, a new model, you know, it's very much how it works with relationships and with self-concept. You know, the mind seems to have made up this image of a self and it's dissatisfied with that self. So it wants to trade up and keep trading up. And it wants all the perks and benefits of trading up, just like trading up for a new car or you know, more bells and whistles and so on and so forth. And then when you, the prayer of the heart is really to give it over to to be transformed, to be used. It's really a call to get into your miracle working function and to get into your communication function and, and sharing and strengthening these ideas. And it's very much that that until you open up deeper and deeper into purpose and function, then then there is no replacement for the specialness. You know, that that you do have to have something to pour your devotion and dedication into to take the place of the specialness, to bring you the joy and the love and the happiness, which you do deserve because it's your natural birthright. But it's just through the ego, we the mind goes about it through inappropriate means, you know, to try to get it in all kinds of ways that you can't really get it at. That's where the empty roads come in. Like you feel like I put all that work and all that effort into that and then then I don't get this and I don't get this or this is this this person leaves or the relationship changes or they don't want to be around me or so forth. Almost like there's all this investment, you know, to get something and then if there's not a return, then the ego just says, Okay, Toss that one out now. Go for the next, go for the next conquest or the next one, and so you start to get wise to its games, and and then you start to realize that that you're just praying that prayer of flip, you know, Lord, you know, make me an instrument. You're praying the prayer of I'm here only to be truly helpful. I'm here to represent Him who sent me. You keep giving yourself over to that purpose, that function. And then the more you do, you start to feel the fulfillment of the function, that, that our happiness and our function are the same. That when we're in our God-given function and we're flowing with that, we feel fulfilled up, we feel content, we feel happy, we feel free. And when we don't, when we block that function and we go, no, no, enough of that, I'm going to go, I'm going to get me this, get me this, get me that, then it's just another spin around the the table of, of illusions, you know, where we try a different form, a, a different road, a different person, a different thing, and it's just it's that same emptiness that, that comes in again. So so when you make the turn, when you really make that, that turn towards purpose, you know, it's it will just it has to light your heart up. It has to light your life life up. It has to draw you. Talk about the law of attraction. It's like the attraction of of your mind, your heart opening up for that love just seems to grow stronger and stronger and stronger. And what we would call temptation, the temptation to get, just falls, fades away, you know. It's not like you have to fight against the temptations. It's more like you just have to gently yield into this purpose, this divine purpose, and then 
the temptations just fade and fade and fade away. You know, you're all you're fulfilled. You're not, you know, looking for scraps, you know, to kind of fill your empty cup. It's more like, ha ha, my cup runneth over, my cup runneth over, and and that that vibe, that kind of energy, just just grows stronger and stronger in awareness. So, you know, it's you can tell that even if you've given a relationship over to the Holy Spirit to use for the Holy Spirit's purposes, that the ego is still going to kind of say, no, take it back, take it back, no, 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 take it back, while you still have time, take it back. <laughs> but, but once you give a relationship over to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is moves swiftly and, and you get sometimes a pretty good glimpse of where this is heading and then the ego gets really stirred up uh, by that glimpse. You know, it's like, uh-oh, no, 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 backpedal, get out, get out, get out, take it back, take it back, you know, and that's what it's going to do because it's, it's very afraid of being dissolved, you know, it's very afraid of losing its hold uh, on, on the mind. It, it wants to see the mind as the slave and it as the master and, you know, it could be very, very threatened. One of the things is just, you know, you know from our, our monastery and the way we live, no private thoughts and no people pleasing, you know, just we have those two guidelines. Those guidelines are just designed to encourage open, direct, honest, respectful communication. We all know that. We, we know that in our hearts that that's what really nurtures this sense of love. Those are all things that are extremely important. Uh, when I was just over in China, you know, I, it was like I was meeting with like 80 to 90 uh, people every day for five days there in Beijing. And I started in on that from the beginning and just gave everybody the permission, not just with words, but just with presence, the permission to let their darkness come up. And they cried and they screamed and they let all of this pain and hurt come up in my presence. And they were like, this feels really good. <laughs> this is, woo, I've been, I was stuffing a lot of stuff. I was holding a lot of stuff back and it was killing me. You know, and so they felt the benefit of that. And now they've taken those two principles and there are already little pockets of people starting to practice those principles. Uh, there was even a man from China who wrote and he said, those, those two principles are really based on the pillars of A Course in Miracles. Nothing real can be threatened, pillar one nothing unreal exists, pillar two, that he was, he was seeing that those were common ways of describing these, these pillars that, that could actually be practiced in daily life, in daily interactions, and how that was freeing the mind. That just freed the mind up to actually get in touch with what was much deeper underneath. So, you know, that would be a way to steer, if you've given the relationship over to the Holy Spirit, is practice uh, no people pleasing and no private thoughts. And notice that the, the roles may shift and change as that happens, but the disclosure, the, the beautiful, open, honest disclosure, the not hiding, you know, is so powerful that the, you could just feel the relationship get lifted up. You can feel the the ease of communication get get stronger and stronger. You know, where there's nothing that needs to be kept hidden. You know, there's nothing shameful that that can't be released in that context. And how wonderful that you you're willing to to give the relationship over in that way. And even though the ego comes in and tries to sabotage that and you feel like you're kind of right on the front line, you know, of a, of a split and a battle there, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it to, c to keep, keep
keep coming back to that. And you're going to do it. You're going to, yeah, I can tell with your smile, you're, g <laughs> you're going to go for it. You're not going to let uh, the ego stop you. Yeah. Are you willing to be 